I always wanted to do cheer. I always like cheerleading because like, you're like pretty and you get bows. We carry a banner and we yell out cheers. You have to be able to work well under pressure. You have to be able to work as a team. Definitely for me staying straight. <laughs> um, that's like kind of a visually impaired thing that you have to worry about. White Cane Day, it used to be that you it was a day to make the public aware because a lot of folks didn't know what a white cane was. But now it's, it's like a celebration of being independent, being equal, living a life just like you and I. I think we are the largest in the nation. We like to say the world, but I don't think I should go that far. <laughs> so now we're up to almost 900 folks that come. It's so powerful to have so many different age ranges, visually impaired, multiply impaired, all together in one place and sharing the celebration. <laughs> it's really nice knowing that there's a lot of people who understand what I go through on a daily basis because sometimes it's hard to explain to people, like, I can't see. People are like, they're clueless around, oh, they're blind, they can't do this and that. Mm. But like, yeah, so I just yeah. give them, like, yeah, we can. Yeah. Bam, look. <laughs> we can cheer and do that. Fire it up! Fire it up! Fire it up! Fire up! And up! And up! And up! And up! We were leading the marches. I've done it before because this is my third year in cheer, so. First year for me. <laughs> so the marches start at nine and they start all over the city. <laughs> We make signs that kind of explain what we're doing, you know, instead of a bunch of blind people walking. It's, this is White Cane Day, we're celebrating our independence. We feel powerful. We have people telling us, like, where to go. I don't know how Yeah, they're leading us. Yeah, they're leading us, but we're, like, leading the rest of the crowd. Yeah. We had to get oriented to what spots we were going to be in, so we were kind of mentally prepared for like how our routes are going to be. You're going to use that your whole life even if like you want to get a guide dog or something you're going to need those skills and you're going to need to be really perfected with them. How to cross the street safely or what buses to use and things like How that. to use like Uber or ride share. Hey, like we can live our life like normal people. We just have to do it differently. It's interesting because a lot of our kids think that the public think of them as poor critters, you know, like, oh, it's a blind person, oh. But really and truly, I think that the public thinks of them as heroes. Yeah, they can do a rock wall and they can um, do a pounce house and run a race and, you know, be on a cheerleading squad. It's, they just do it a little differently.